Hello and welcome to Board Game Ninja. In this video we will show you how to play Mindbug, a two-player battle card game that has many familiar elements from Magic, Keyforge and King of Tokyo, but soon becomes a tactical trickster of its own. In Mindbug you play all kinds of hybrid creatures that you can use to attack your opponent. The first player to lose their life points loses the battle and the game. Mindbug is for two players, takes around 15 to 25 minutes and is for players of 8 years and older. Take the 48 creature cards and shuffle them. Deal each player 10 cards and put the rest back in the box. You won't need them in this game. Each player takes 5 cards in their hand, the rest is their personal draw pile. Each player takes one of the life spinners and two Mindbug cards. Start the game with three life points. Decide who goes first and let the battle begin. On your turn you can play a creature card to your play area or attack with a creature that is already in your play area. A creature card has a power value that shows the strength of the attack or the defense. It may have keywords about the strength of this creature. We will come to those later. And it may also have an ability that you can use. When you play a card, you place it in your play area. You immediately draw a new card from your draw pile. When your draw pile runs out, you simply cannot draw cards anymore. When you play a card, your opponent can decide if they want to use their mind bug. This nasty little device lets them take over the creature you just played and place it in their own play area. They flip over one of their mind bugs. Each player has two mind bugs, so you can do this only twice in the whole game, and only with cards that have just been played. After someone takes control of a card, it's the other player's turn again. Sometimes an ability may be triggered when you play a card, like this. If your opponent uses a mind bug on the card, they use the ability. Abilities can be triggered when played, when you attack, when you're defeated, or they are active all the time, like these sweet shield bugs. To attack your opponent, you declare with which creature you attack and the strength of the attack. This is the value in the top left corner, plus any bonuses from abilities. Your opponent has to decide if they want to defend or not. If they defend, they decide with which creature in their playing area. Compare the power values. The lowest value is defeated and goes off to the discard pile of that player. If the values are the same, both creatures are gone. If you don't want to defend or cannot defend, you must lower your life points by one. Keep playing until one player has no life points left. Just to briefly explain the five possible keywords on the cards that affect the outcome of attacks. Frenzy. A creature with Frenzy is allowed to attack a second time in the same turn, of course only if it isn't defeated. Hunter. When you attack with a Hunter, you can pick which enemy creature you attack, instead of letting your opponent decide. Poisonous. When a poisonous creature is defeated in attack or defense, its opponent is also defeated. Sneaky. An attack by a sneaky creature can only be blocked by a creature that also has the keyword sneaky. This is a smart option if your opponent has only bulky creatures on their grid. Tough. A tough creature is hard to defeat. The first time this creature is defeated, do not place it on your discard pile, but turn it 90 degrees sideways. The creature can do anything it normally does. Only when it is defeated for the second time does it go to the discard pile. That's it for Mindbug, a tactical duel in which you have to outwit your opponent with the cards that you were dealt. Subscribe to this channel for more game explainer videos and we will see you soon for the next one. Bye!